now at the Red Pyramid, which is next to the Bent Pyramid. And we're very fortunate because this one we get to go into. <clears throat> so what'll be intriguing for me is to see how big the passageway is to get into the Red Pyramid. How, like how wide is it? How tall is it? And of course, this pyramid, like most, uh, are believed by Egyptologists to have been tombs. The other more intriguing theory, which is far more complicated and I think far more plausible, is that these were power plants, electrical generators. So therefore, it'll be interesting to see, is this a passageway inside to where the tomb of the king is? Or is it a passageway, a servant, uh, servants, not servants, sorry, service entrance to the internal workings of a very, very ancient machine that predates history as we know it, as in older than 6,000 years ago, older than the pharaohs, older than the dynastic Egyptians. Okay, we're up on the Red Pyramid, and Saqqara is in the background. Over to that side is Giza. The pyramids are lined up, but not in a straight line. It's actually a Fibonacci spiral. And next, we're going to go inside the Red Pyramid. Oh, I'll be glad to. Yeah. Thank you. At this point, I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to uh, turn on a light. Because uh, this is a maintenance shaft. This is not a walkway. It's a hell of a lot deeper than I thought it would be. Again, going into something which covers several acres. This isn't the greatest of the Great Pyramids, but this is a damn big pyramid, I'll tell you that much. Okay, this is at the bottom of the shaft entrance into the Red Pyramid. Uh, hundreds of feet that we came down at an angle. Again, you see, three feet by three feet is the basic dimension. Oh! Now we turn and enter the core of the Red Pyramid in Egypt. you can see almost the baffling that's on the in the interior of the Red Pyramid. Definitely for resonance or acoustics, wouldn't you say Mark? Absolutely. Not as a tomb because these have a pragmatic function, clearly. Yeah, the opening's about six feet high, so it's a relief compared to the three-foot main shaft entrance. Whoa. Same thing, you have these baffle-like projections going up. But this room's oriented 90 degrees compared to the other one. So it's the sonic effect in here, reverberation, etc., which is amazing. If you hit the right tone, then the whole room vibrates. And again, that lends credence or credence to the idea that this was not the tomb of a dead king, but that this had a very pragmatic function, and that was a vi vibrational function.
One thing, one thing that uh, Yusuf Awian just pointed out, who is our oral tradition expert and guide, is that this is the original, the color is going to be crap in this video, but it's the best I can do. You see the white, that's the original limestone color. And then the exterior surface now is a yellowish, reddish, brownish color. It's a staining from something, but the question is stained from what? <clears throat> Not simply time, it's as if there was some kind of liquid or chemical that was inside of this pyramid that stained the stone. Airborne? Or was it part of the function? This will give you a much better idea here because there's an actual light. But the color here, you can see where it's, it looks like it's been, well you can see where it's been dripping down. But again the acoustics are just phenomenal in the Red Pyramid in Egypt. So people are toning away in here because this thing has astonishing resonance properties. Again, adding credence to the idea that it was a pragmatic building when it was constructed and not a tomb. And the precision you can see here this groove, you see, is deceit, or is, isn't really uh, a good example of the precision of the fit of the work because it's channeled in left and right like that. So you've got like this Y, sh this V shape going in. So that's not a good example. But as we come down to where the stone's been broken, here, look at that. I don't even know if you can see that, but that is a join between two stones and it's so close together you can't fit anything in there. I don't even know if water could could seep into that. That is really that's out of this world.